Hi all and welcome back to the channel, I hope you're all doing okay. Uh, yeah, sorry for the, the, the gap between my last upload and now, but I... It, although it is you know, the summer break in Formula 1 terms, it's quite quiet, but the one story that has gathered pace and is certainly the talk of the media at the moment is the Carlos Sainz story um, signing for Audi. Now, yeah, there's going to be more driver signings talk in the upcoming weeks. I mean, we're only a couple of weeks away, just over from you know the start of um, the second half of the season. So there's still plenty to come, I'm sure of it. But I don't like putting stories out there until I've read you know a lot of reports in the media to try and get some balance because we all know what silly seasons like. But let's start with this um, first. So anyway. Carlos Sainz's long-term Ferrari future remains up in the air as silly season gets underway. A member close to Carlos Sainz has denied the growing rumours that he has agreed a deal to join Cyber for the 2025 season ahead of their Audi rebrand, instead reiterating his desire to secure a new long-term contract with Ferrari Sainz, Sainz's desire to be a team leader uh, was cited as the driving force behind the switch. However, according to Motorsport.com Italy, Sainz has signed no such agreement with an anonymous member of his team confirming Plan A is Ferrari, Plan B is Ferrari and Plan C is also Ferrari. Those close to Sainz have denied the rumours linking him to the Audi project. There is likely to be some interest in the move, at least on the side of the German manufacturer, uh, the project will be headed by Andreas Seidel, who worked with Sainz during their time at McLaren and is familiar with the workings um, of him. A Zhou Guan Yu immediate future likely to be determined with short-term deals and Valt Valtteri Bottas unlikely to spearhead the launch of Audi at the end of his contract in 2025, Sauber are currently without a clear team leader around which they can build um, build a team. Uh, with most of F1's other big names tied down to long-term deals, Sainz would be a good fit for the role. The prospect of a team leader role may be appealing to Sainz, but the, the more comfortable move for the Madrid-born driver would be to stay put at Ferrari. The team may have lost their way this season, but teammate Charles Leclerc has still claimed two pole positions and Sainz's uh, maiden Grand Prix victory with the team at Silverstone last season will be fresh in his memory. So unfortunately for Sainz, his hopes of being uh, treated as Ferrari's lead driver are close to zero with the team set to um, finalise Leclerc's bumper new deal this summer, potentially keeping Leclerc at the team until 2029. I'm not sure about that. Uh, uh, pending the activation of certain clauses. The new team, uh, the new terms reportedly being offered to Sainz are far less convincing. Team principal Fred Wasser is hoping to tie the Spaniard down for another year on top of his current contract, which expires at the end of 2024, although the former McLaren and Renault driver is holding out for a longer deal, one he may not get. Right, so... What do I think? I think possibly this has been put out in the media. And I'm not saying it has because there's been no reports of it, but it may have been put out into the media to try and encourage Ferrari to give Sainz a, a, a longer contract. Because putting a year on here and there, really, I don't think that helps drivers. It doesn't make them feel settled and stuff like that. I, I get that, you know, it plays with your head mentally because you just feel under more pressure to deliver. Otherwise, you know, at the end of that, your year contract, you're out. But um, whether that is the case or not, I don't know. And like I said, it is silly season. So although this is a rumour throughout the paddock, throughout the media, there, there does tend to be some elements of truth in it. So again, it's one of those things time will tell. But, um, you know, I've given you sort of like a, a short rundown of what I found throughout various different other media that are reporting on this um, to hopefully try and make some sense of it. And like I said, I don't like reporting on rumours or, you know, paddock talk until 
it's widespread in the media. I don't just like it coming from one or two sources. I like to see it come from more. So uh, anyway, I uh, hope you like the video. If you do like what I do, please like and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. And if you could press the notification bell to get future warnings of my boring uploads. <laughs> I'm only joking. Um, you know, please feel free to do that. But anyway, until the next time, take care.